my last QA video, someone asked if you could make dual tone in it. And then I also seen one of the Patriot, the Patriot videos. And I noticed, and I don't know why I wasn't thinking about this before, but I noticed that throughout the video, I'll play it here, is that all of the backgrounds have that same sort of look. So in this video, we're going to be making one. And if you wait till the end, I have something special for you. Explore a wide selection of pre-made creative tools for DaVinci Resolve like titles, transitions, slideshows and infographs like bar charts and callouts, and much, much more. Link in the description for more information. So just jumping into DaVinci Resolve, I'm first just going to make a Fusion Comp just by right clicking in the media pool, going down to new Fusion Comp and then selecting my comp. Obviously, depending on what you're doing with this, you're going to have to set the time and everything, but I'm just showing you how to, how to do this uh, coloring on an image. So once we do that, we'll have our Fusion comp. We're just gonna go right into Fusion. And it, it was funny, because when I was looking at this, this particular one doesn't have um, a ton of animations, but they have a couple of like animations with some stuff uh if i can actually find something but anyways let's just go with the blue the dark and light blue um so we're just going to pull down the image in which we're going to be using so this is our image here full color uh and the first thing that we have to do is we have to take all of these color values and make them the same so currently if i was to hover over these and we look down here we have like blue at one value green at another and then red at a completely different one. We need to make them all the same. And to do that, what we're gonna be using is a bitmap. And the easiest way to get a bitmap, we're gonna hold down shift and then hit spacebar. And then in here, we're just going to type bit and hit enter. So we have our bitmap and we're just gonna take our image and connect it into our bitmap and look at it here. Now on the bitmap itself, we need to come over to the inspector and we're gonna change the channel. Instead of alpha, we're gonna change it down to luminance. And then there we go. Now, if we hover over this, you can see all of our values, red, green, blue, and alpha are all going to be the same. Um, because of the size of this, uh, if we were to look at over here, if the size is kind of wonky, we'll have to throw in a transform in there, but we'll just kind of move on from here for now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a uh, fast noise. So we're gonna just grab it in, it's right here. We're gonna drag it down. And the fast noise needs to get put into the brightness map, which is this top one. So we're just gonna drag this into the brightness map. And now if we view it over here, it looks kind of wonky, but we're gonna take detail. We're gonna go all the way down continuous. We're gonna check that. And then next we're gonna come over to our uh, colorize and we're gonna go into type and then go to gradient. Now in gradient, these are kind of backwards for now uh, to make things look good. Uh, we're going to go the opposite way. So this left side here, we're going to get a bright color. And then the right side, I don't know if I said that backwards, we're going to get a darker color. So there we go. Now, when we come into the bitmap, or excuse me, when we come into the fast noise, it's going to take your project resolution. So if we come over to here, it's going to grab auto resolution, which is whatever our project is set to because the image that we brought in is significantly bigger and it gets um, then cropped down to the smaller size, in between here, we might need to put a transform. And to do that, we'll just hold or uh, highlight the uh, media in, shift spacebar and trans, hit the transform. And then on this transform, we can just manipulate the size and also move this around to kind of uh, you know, work for our project. So I'm gonna bring it down and over. And that's kind of it. It's that simple. It's not that difficult. Uh, if we look at Patriot Act, they end up, uh, you can tell that they take a lot of time with rotoscoping different elements, but it seems like all of their elements have this kind of a look going. So it's something like if you watch that show that you're going to see a lot on the background screens. And obviously they, they take a long time to, to make a lot of the stuff that they're doing. Uh, this is pretty much the look in a nutshell. Uh, we can always move these to kind of, you know, fit our needs to make them look a little bit better. And if you want to, you can add in more colors. So all you would do is just click on the bar itself and it adds a little marker there and you can, you know, add another color if you wanted to do that. If you want to remove a color, 
all you have to do is just drag up. So you click or you drag up to remove. Um, and then you just move these around to kind of work for you know, your look that you're going for and that's kind of it. Only thing you have to make sure to do now is once you're done, I, I'm guessing you would do more than just this, but once you're done with everything that you're building here, you just have to make sure that this media out, that you connect everything to that. And then if we come back over to the uh, edit page, we can now see that displayed here. Uh, so that's kind of it. It's a very short uh, tutorial on how to do this. But I said that there was something else in here that I'm also going to offer to you. And that is if you didn't have to take all of this and you could do something very simply, come up to your effects library, come to templates, come down to tools, JR tools, and then just drag this in, connect this up, and you have the same look. So this tool here is actually going to be on my website. It's going to be a link in the description um, to this if you want it, it's free of charge. Um, yeah, so that's there if anyone wants it. Uh, but now you at least know how to create it if you wanna create it on, on your own, or if you want the tool to be able to create it, you can also grab the tool on my website as well. So they both work the same exact way. If you needed additional settings, obviously this is set up to be ease of use very quick. Um, so these are the only settings that you get with this one. You can always just recreate it or uh, create it on your own um, by just following this tutorial. So that's kind of all I got for you for today. Let me know in the comments if this is a look that you would actually go for. Uh, if there's something similar that you want uh, me to make a video about, let me know down in the description and I'll look into it. If it's something that is possible and it's not a 12 hour long tutorial, um, let me know, I'll create it. But with that being said, that's all I got for you for today. My name's JR and thanks for watching.